Now, in Kip's Fun Show, we do a lot of silly things. We do a lot of things that don't make a whole lot of sense. And one of them has to do with magic. How many of you know something about magic? How many of you have done magic? You've done magic? I did magic. You did, because I haven't done any, ever. I, I don't know anything about magic, and so I'm going to try it today because I have a friend who's a magician, and he says you can do it, and what I'm doing is called spoof magic. So the first thing I need is a magic hat, so it looks like this. Now, have you ever done any card tricks? We're going to stand so these guys can see and so these guys can see, okay? So we're going to stand right here. I want you to stand right over this on this side of that crack and face those people and those people. Everybody wave. What's your name? Carter. Hey, everybody, it's Carter. I didn't know that, but I'm going to try to read Carter's mind here. So, Carter, have you ever done any card tricks in magic? No, me either. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I have four cards here. And they have really big numbers on them. One through four. Can you see that? One through four. Now, I'm going to mix them up. Pay attention, Carter. I know, there's a lot of stuff to look at. The other show, the kids actually wander away from me and they're playing with my stuff. It's actually so interesting up here. Are you paying attention? I'm going to shuffle these cards here like this. See? They're all mixed up now. Okay, so I'm going to have you pull one card out and hold it up against your chest. I don't want you to tell anybody what it is. I don't want you to look at it or see. Okay, go ahead and pick a card and hold it against your chest. Okay, now the first thing my friend, by the way, he said don't use his name, but Ron Dini lives in Appleton. Oops. I messed up. Okay, he said if they pick the car top card, just give it up right there. But don't worry, Carter. It's going to work out. You know how I know? I stirred all of these up, and I'm going to use telepathy. The first thing I'm guessing is this is a three. Am I right? I stirred them all up. How does he know that? The second thing I'm going to guess is that this is a two. Is that right? Is that cool? I've never done this before. This is pretty great. And this is a one. Is that right? I got it all right. That means, Carter, you must have a four. Show everybody the cards. I'm really good. Yay, Rob, did you see that trick? Oh, my goodness. Give it up for Carter. That was very good. Guess what? It's going to get trickier. Carter, you're going to have to pay more attention. Now I have five cards, okay? And look at them. There's five, number six. What happened to that one? Number six, seven, eight, and then that's a six. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna stir these up too, and I, I'm doing a good job. I'm mixing them up. I'm mixing up the order. Now, Carter, here's the most important thing about this: do not, whatever you do, do not open the cards because they have messages inside, like happy anniversary, and and I don't think that that applies to you know you know your mom and dad have an anniversary. It also says, one of them says, happy, you know, in the retirement, enjoy, enjoy your uh, social security. And I don't think that applies either. So I want you to pick a card just like before and hold it up against your chest. Don't open it. Hold it up against your chest. Remember, the message inside is not for you. All right, everybody paying attention? Let's see here. I've got uh, five left. Okay, so Carter, I'm guessing, everybody watch, is it a zero? Show the card. It's not? Give me that back. All right. Now, I'll go stand over here by your sister a little bit like that. All right. So I'm going to give you the card back and hold it right there up against your chest. Come back over here. We're going to say the magic words. This is the final time here at Kids So The magic words are Kids Nights. Say it. Kids Nights. Kids Nights. Kids Nights. Carter, does it happen to be a nine? Show me. This is zero. I'm a zero. Okay, I'm going to have to have a talk with my buddy about this. Do you like red or blue? This is the ultimate. This is the ultimate. Do you like red or blue? Well, which you got to pick one. Which one do you want? Like blue. Okay, so here we go. Wait. You said... Okay. Oh. When things don't go right, nothing goes right. Okay, you ready, Carter? I am going to cover my hand with this blue handkerchief, and I'm going to hold it real tight around the base. I want you to close your eyes and face the audience out there. Close your eyes. I want you to think about a number. Are your eyes closed? Okay. You're going to concentrate on the number between one and five. 
and dead if you try to sit home and you pick between one and ten. Pick the number between one and five. Carter, what's that number? Call it out. What? Did Jesus change the number? Oh, he did. He said four. I got it. Give me a. Come on, give me a hand. I got it. Okay, Carter, I got some great prizes for you helping out today. Are you ready? Have you and your family, do you ever go eat out like a Chinese? Do you eat at a Chinese place? Sometimes. Do you know what soy sauce is? I got a pack of that for you. <laughs> he said, no. What? You don't like soy sauce. Okay. What about the hot sauce and, and the mild, the sweet and sour? Uh, okay, Carter, listen, if that's not going to do it this well, I've got a package of used sauces. Uh, no. no, all right, you guys, give it up for Carter. He's trying real hard for you. Carter, I've got something for you that'll be really, really cool. Wait a second. Where did they all go? What is going on here? Here it is. All right. It's goggles and a snorkel. How about that? Give it up for Carter, everybody.